Good afternoon, my fellow patriots and brave, uh, constitutionally Republican Americans. Um, I just wanted to do a short, not really short, but not long video either, where I wanted to discuss, uh, I'm feeling a little under the weather, guys, so if my voice sounds a little nasally more so than usual I apologize um, just trying to kick this in the butt it's not gonna stop me but um, it might be the Rona I don't know I ain't taking the damn test so who knows if it's uh, the cold yeah probably the Rona is you know that's what the Rona is this is the cold so anyway uh, moving past that, and that's fact, by the way, which can be backed up by uh, science. I don't know what strand or what number or what variant or whatever. Uh, that's just objective science also. I don't know. I haven't been tested. I'm not going to, but it's probably that. Anyway, um, whatever. I've had one every year for my whole life. That's not what this video is about, but that's just your disclaimer. Um, but I just want to make a video, um, whether this applies to anybody watching this or not, it, I just would hope that, uh, you share this video. Um, I'm going to try to keep it as PG as possible while still hitting the marks and, and stuff like that. But, um, I'd like this video to be shared out there, uh, because I have a specific message that I want to convey. Um, I just finished watching video from Scott McKay. He does some pretty good stuff. He's been doing this a long time. Um, he's, he's very similar to me. We're investigators and we're not really the social uh, types to go out and party and have vapid endless bullshit conversations. Um, so we're, we're very similar. We're, we're very erudite and we're very uh, if we have interactions we want them to be meaningful. So I really like the guy. Um, I don't agree with everything he says, but I do like his approach and where he comes from. Uh, and he's, I'm going to echo some of the things he's talking about in his video. Um, his most recent video from the 25th, there might be another video, but I'm talking, if you go to, excuse me, if you go to BitChute, it's the one from the 25th. Um, but uh, this is something that's weighed on me heavily for a while. And... It's something that we can talk about. It's something that my wife and I have talked about um, because my wife, my wife and I have these same questions, but I think we're at different points of our understanding and acceptance of that. Um, and I don't mean, you know, she's not on the same page. I just mean she's at a different phase of it than I am. Uh, but we've had this conversation many times, um, about people we know. Um, some of them can be relatives. Some of them can be, uh, high school, uh, associates that we, uh, we had at one point. Um, you know, so it's a wide gamut of different kinds of people and minds and things like that. Uh, but I've seen it. I've seen it in multiple multiple places um and that is patriots maga americans um trump supporters non-trump supporters normal people libertarians um not far left radical democrats but maybe just misguided ones that you know buy up the the, the bs that sold them every two to four years um, because they still watch Mockingbird Media uh, and things like that. But what I'm seeing in, is is acquiesce. I'm seeing a lot of pushovers. I'm seeing a lot of doormats. I'm seeing a lot of people. I'm seeing a lot of people that will not stand their ground. Okay, hold the line and stand your ground is not just a, a, a cool little phrase. It's, it, it doesn't specifically have to be about uh, politics. It can be about other th places in your life, okay? Um, 
and we're all learning. So I am not, I'm not perfect. And this is not meant to be taken as preachy. I'm even, if I am preaching in any way, let the record show that I am doing it because I will rewatch this video at least once um, of my own video. Just make sure everything went okay. And if I need to add anything or I didn't finish a thought, what have you. But uh, if I am preachy in this, then maybe the, it needed to sound like that. So it's not my intention, but if it sounds like that, then maybe that's the message that needed to be put out, which is something Scott said. And I, I really like the way he said that. Um, but you have a lot of people that continue to, uh, to go along, to not rock the boat. Um, And what I mean by that is I hear, and, I've, and I'm, I'm going to use a real world example that I've seen with my own eyes. This is not secondhand. This is my experience. Uh, when creating the uh, email and, and phone number list, we had patriots that would send messages and, and regardless of whether it was to join that or not. But send me messages. I get a lot of messages, guys, and I'm sorry that I don't reply to them it's because my my main account was uh torpedoed back in october i have can to this day have never been able, on my device that is linked to me uh, i can't log into messenger uh, i can do it on my wife's phone but that doesn't really do me any good uh, so i use it on a tablet which the tablet doesn't have data uh so there's really no way to take it mobile with my job <coughs> excuse me I don't work in, in an office building. Uh, I don't work on a place that has Wi-Fi, and I'm usually always driving. So, um, but um, uh, where was I going with that? Oh, well, you know. So, if I don't get back with the messages, I'm sorry. Uh, it doesn't mean that I don't read all of them. Um, I'm, I don't have a lot of time to respond to everybody because sometimes by the time I read it, it's it's old news or it's been weeks. So just know that every message that's sent to me, guys, I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. It, 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 it's, it's a good start for what I'm about to say in the, in the scope of this video. But we have so many people that still are not standing their ground. Uh, I don't know if it's because of ignorance in some cases of the, the law that is on their side. Um, it could be, uh, but specifically I get messages and this has happened more than once where somebody will send me a message and say, Corey, I really appreciate what you and your wife do. And, um, you know, you're, I, I agree with everything you're saying and I just want you to know that and I appreciate it. Keep it up. Uh, and then, you know, sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll slide it in there. I don't feel like I can talk about this at my job. I feel like I can't post on my, I'm speaking phrasing here. I, I can't, I don't feel like I can be truthful about my political uh, beliefs. And guys, here's the thing. The cabal likes to take political beliefs and couple it to morality. That's what they like to do because it's about identity politics, okay? And I don't think enough people realize this shit. It is, they're, they are, but they're not the same thing. I mean, you know, they're, they're always lumped together. They're two separate things that affect each other, but they're not lumped together. So my point is, is that you know, these people will say that and it means the world to my wife and I, when they say we appreciate how you guys speak your mind and you're not, you know, you're not trying to instigate, you know, problems with people, but you say it like it is. And that's refreshing in this world and blah, blah, blah. That means the world to us. It really does. Okay. Because there's times where I'm just like, you know, I can just keep, keep up with this, but not share it and just stay out of that. You know, and sometimes it's crossed, not in a long time, but it has crossed my mind. You know, where I'm just like, you know, I'll just keep up with it, but I'm not going to be all about the sharing. And then, then I see those messages and, and then I'm like, no, like I, I have, I have a job to do. 
there you know this was my calling i've prayed to god many times to show me what he wants me to do with my life and i'll tell you what sitting in this truck and doing this and talking to you guys on my lunch break outside of this video this is not what god put me on this earth for You know, um, that's not that's not my legacy. That that uh, it's a necessity, and there's things that need to be done, and I'm going to do them the right way, and and things like that. But it's not it's not God's mission. That is that much is clear to me at this point, and He's not done with any of us. So uh, that just steals my resolve when I get those messages. But then, but then, so it steals my resolve. But then. It's a bittersweet thing because I want people to stand their ground and not just politically, but in all avenues of your life. It doesn't mean you have to be a jerk, okay, to everybody um, and be just on the, on the, from the onset defensive, but people need to get to the point where they're not a doormat. And when I read from multiple people who are, you know, some of them are older than me, and, you know, I know they might have more white collar jobs where they're in a cute farm or what have you. But what, what bothers me so much, guys, is that that's how the slavery system works. The slavery system works by getting you um, to where you need a certain income to survive. And uh, you find a job and you get cozy. And then next thing you know, you got some more income. So you start buying more shit if you're if you're not smart. Uh, or wise about it, you buy more shit and you get, you know, you're spending to the level of, of what you're making and you're not really getting ahead. Uh, so many people are like that. Um, and it gets to the point where you're just, you know, you, you feel like you can't leave or say anything because if you get fired or what have you, now you're out of a job in this crazy, you know, uh, world we have right now. If it wasn't for, you know, uh, uh, the events of last year, I think we'd be just fine um, as far as job avenues and things like that. But now you got whole sectors of the economy being shut down, being shut down, okay? Um, which is going to affect jobs. And, and it's not just going to affect those jobs directly there. There's There's logistics, there's trucking, there's deliveries. There's the factories that fabricate this stuff. I mean, it's a whole system. So when I hear 70,000, oh, 45,000 jobs were lost on the pipeline, 70,000 jobs on the pipeline. If that's just the pipeline, that's not that's not even probably half of the number of people that are involved in this that are going to be, you know, losing income. Now, the higher up you go, the more likely you've got other places to fall back on, uh, other nets, you know, safety nets, things like that. But you know, it's going to affect a lot more than just, you know, because you got roofers, you got plumbers, you got truck drivers, you got um, metal fabricators, you got welders. You, I mean, this is, you know, it's a lot of shit. And with those pipelines, they don't stay running, they fall apart. And then that's money flushed down the toilet and you got to do it all over again. So uh, I know I'm getting off on a tangent with that, but what bothers me, what hurts my heart, is when I see people say that. Because what kind of fascist fucking nightmare, forthright, did we fucking, did we unplug from? In what world is that acceptable in America, okay? Might be okay elsewhere, but this is the United States of America. And you can't speak your mind in a respectful and thoughtful way without feeling like you're going to get fired from your job. I can't imagine, guys. I can't. Can't. Because I would never do that. Part of the reason why I do what I do. Okay? Like I said, it's not... It's not the calling, but it's a part of the calling. Because, you know... But that's fucked that that's the way that this is. And I'm sorry I said I keep it PG... But dang, it makes me very angry. And it, it, it hurts. It hurts. Because that is oppression. That That is real slavery. That is mental slavery, guys. 
And that's just one example. Oh, I, I work at a, a doctor's office and, and I'm the receptionist and I'm the only one who, di who didn't vote for Biden. Why do you still work there? I mean, I know, I know. But that's, you, need to, you need to find a way out. You need to go somewhere else. Because if you can't speak, there's a problem, you know? Um, you know, I, I've always felt like the time for, for talking is, 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 is passing to the people that will need to be slapped in the face with it to wake up. Because that will happen. But before that happens, we need more people that aren't that far gone to stand their ground. Say enough. I'm not taking it anymore. You know? Um, and, and if you're working for a company that's going to fire you and come up with some BS reasons other than he's a Trump supporter because legally they have to cover their ass. Do you really want to work for a fucking place like that? You know, I don't care how much money you make. I mean, money is only at the cost of what? Your soul? Your individuality? Is it worth that? What's it worth? What, what are you worth? Now, I know you got kids and, and, you know, some of you might have kids and families and people that you got to, you know, be rely on. But, dude, this, this is free. It's not free market economics like it should be. It's crony capitalism, you know. And it's amazing how the same people that say they hate capitalism have never had true versions of capitalism. But then tell us, ironically, that we've never had true socialism. It's, it's amazing. It's priceless. <coughs> but I'm tired of that. Same thing with, with the um, MASKS. Same thing with those. People go to work. They put them on because their boss told them to. Because it's company policy. I mean, if you go to public school and you don't want to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, you say, oh, it's against my uh, religious beliefs, and you don't have to. And they're not allowed to really look into that, you know? I mean, that's a, that's a gray area. That's not, in their, that's not their role to dig into your life to see if you're really religious in that way like you say you are. You say, I'm, my kid is going to be excluded. I'm not saying I would have my kid excluded, but I'm saying I know, I, I know that that's, cap that's possible because I went to school with kids that did that because they were certain whatever, right? Which if you're in this country and you can't stand for the fucking pledge, regardless of what your religion is, your religion's fucked. You know, one nation under God, whether, whatever God you believe in, it's still under God, you know? And if you can't, Show respect, you know, and they, and they would sit and then it got to the point where it's like, okay, if you're not going to, if you're not going to put your hand over your heart, at least fucking stand. Right. And they did, you know, and then circle, you know, 10 years later to now we're taking a fucking knee. But I see so many people, you know, I got people that, uh, they still wear the mask until a month or two ago, you know? They believed the whole time everything that we were saying about how this was all bullshit and how we didn't, you know, we never wore them for a f cold and flu season in the history of the world other than, you know, a hundred years ago uh, during the Spanish flu, they were pushing fucking masks on people and that's what, uh, pneumonia and everything else going through the roof. Nothing new under the sun, you know. They did this shit a hundred years ago. We just were stupid enough to forget. But I'm sick and tired of people, when they open their mouth, they agree with everything you say. Oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And oh, yeah, you know, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. But then when they leave, they go put their mask on so they can go into the restaurant. Well, I just, I don't want to rock the boat and I really like that restaurant and da da da. I like the fucking restaurant too, but I ain't been in the motherfucker because the last time I went in there, she fucking gave me a hard time and I told her I'm exempt or I have this or whatever. And they said, oh, we can't fucking serve you. I said, you know, you're discriminating against people who have a medical condition. Well, da 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 da. Well, you know, it doesn't make fucking sense. None, every place has different rules. 
Every place. I travel a lot. Every place is different with their fucking rules. Some places enforce them. Others don't. So it's literally a mental thing. You know? These are mandates. They're not laws. Just like um, actions are not orders. Same shit. Same damn thing. You know? And it just... It, it, it's... Um, it's not the people that I can't reach that bother me the most these days. It's the people that are starting to awaken, but they're not doing it. I know, I know. Deal with people where they're at and not where you want them to be. I get that, but it's still frustrating as hell to have all these people say, this mass shit's bullshit, I don't buy it, I don't believe it, da-da-da, but you're still going to wear it so you can go eat your fucking dinner at wherever. Instead of saying, fuck that place, I'm not going in. Or if I do, I'm ordering it to go and they're going to bring it to my damn car. So I can order food, pull up in the parking lot, not have one on. And the lady or the dude will come up straight to my window. I'll roll the window down. They'll hand me the damn food. That's fine. But walking into the stores is, is, is oh, I mean. Now, granted, luckily, I don't usually... Yeah, I walk into um, a certain home improvement store that I use for work a lot. And, uh, you know, in the beginning, they'd ask you at the door and you'd say, no, I, I it, it, would, sir, would you like one? Uh, no, thanks. Well, sir, we really recommend that you wear one. Um, no, thanks. I'm going to stay six feet away from everybody. I don't plan on, you know, getting in anybody's face while I'm in here. Well, sir, da, 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 da. It's like spare me you know um and then you know the company's got oh shit we might get sued if we refuse people right i don't want to have to say that when i walk in i want the greeter to say hello sir um looking good today what can i help you find today there's no fucking customer service anywhere anymore you know there wasn't really any before covid but there sure as fuck is it now they could take 10% of the mask Nazi bullshit at the front fucking door and put it into helping somebody locate something in the fucking store. I'm sick and tired of being in this place and having someone come up to me and say, oh, do you know, do you work here? No, I don't fucking work here. Maybe I should, maybe I should though, because I at least help you because I end up helping people because that's the kind of fucking guy I am, you know? Shit, there's one of my old jobs. I've worked there in like two years. And every time I go in there, if it's busy, I have at least one person walk up to me and ask me where something is. Which is cool, because I'll go help them find it. Because the store is pretty much the exact same. You know, might talk to them for a bit. But I don't work there. I just do it because, I, you know, I'm being nice. But, you know, and then they had the period. So they, 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 they had the people at the front gate, at the front door. And then they had the period in the middle where a lot of them didn't have the person in the front. And now they have them again because fuckface is in there. We got to get back on it. Oh, my God. And I'm sick and tired of you, you watching this video who still acquiesce. I'm tired of that shit. Like, stop. You know, this is never going to end until you decide you're ready for it to end. I'm already there. I'm waiting for you. So please share this video. If it doesn't apply to you, great. Awesome. I'm, I'm, that's amazing. But share it. Share this message. Share this message out there that, you know, they stole, they stole it on 11-3. We know that. There's evidence coming out of, the, like dropping from the heavens that that's true. The only reason that it hasn't gone anywhere for the people that don't know because it hasn't been spelled out for them, so I will do it right now. The only reason it hasn't gone anywhere is because they haven't allowed evidence to be presented. How can you? How can it go any further if you don't even show, if, if they won't even allow the proceeding to present the evidence? Out of all those cases, 50, 60 fucking cases, right? You know how much evidence was shown? That much. Zero. None.
you know the impeachment's going on you know you see what's happening you see them you see what they're doing they're trying to smack the fuck out of you people to stop acquiescing stop going along with it say i'm not doing it if enough people were just to say i'm not going to make my kid wear a mask to go to school i'm not doing it anymore enough people say i'm not paying my t uh tax this year i'm not doing it i have no confidence the people have spoken we have no confidence in the system so why the fuck will we continue to fund it now, I might sound radical to some people. I don't think so. I think that's very mild compared to the shit we've seen the last year from certain individuals and factions. I think what I'm talking about is very it is very legal because it's, um, uh, you know, civil disobedience. That's what I've been doing this entire time, civil disobedience. If they give me enough shit for it, I'll just leave and I'll make a mental note to never spend money. Even if, when this shit ends, okay, I'll never spend money at that place, if, especially if it's a mom and pa joint and the, they got the same ownership. I know there's turnover in places like that, you know, and a mega, mega corporation, it depends. If you go to one location and, and, the, and the store manager and the Nazi at the front are acting like you know what, and then, you know, you have a problem with that one, go to the next one, get through a chain, a national chain, go to the next one, you're more than likely you're not going to have that issue, you know, so I'm not going to hold the chain responsible unless it's coming from the top, if the orders are coming, you need to do the research, if the orders are coming from the top, down, it sucks ass that you got to fucking figure this shit out, and I know a lot of you are lazy and don't have enough time, either are lazy and don't want to do the research, or don't have enough time like me but a lot of these companies have a policy where they cannot refuse you so little Susie at the front uh, desk or the front entryway who's trying to use a power trip on you to make herself feel better about her shitty insignificant slavery led mask filled life right You know, she's flexing her muscle. That's her muscle. What does the store say? And a lot of people, I'm not going to mention names because I could, but a lot of people won't go up the chain. Oh, they'll just, oh, okay, well, this person, I, I hit I hit, I hit a speed bump. Oh, I guess I better go back to my car. That's what I mean. Like, you have, you can, you can drill through the door like a battering ram, Right? Tenderly, it is possible, you know. Do you have to boom, boom? You're letting me in here. I don't. I'm gonna say what I want to say. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna yell. I'm gonna pull my phone out. I'm gonna make a scene. No, that's not what I'm saying to do. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is, is to be very curt. Okay, that's that's about it. That's about as rough as you want to get. You say it nicely. No, no thanks. They ask, oh hey, do you? Hey, sir, welcome in. Do you, do you need a mask? Oh, no, thank you. And then don't linger. Don't don't stare at them, okay? Because then they'll get the chance to, to say something else. You say that, you, you glance. Now, before this, I would say, hi, how are you? Oh, oh yes, well, thank you. It is, it is nice out today. Oh, I appreciate that. Oh, sir, can you help me find so-and-so? Yes, sir, that's on such and such. Oh, thank you so much. See, that's how it used to be. Now... Okay? I don't even want to fucking talk to these people. Because I know why they're there. They're not there to make me feel welcome. They're there to fucking make me feel like I'm the one that's out of fucking place here in this fucked up upside down shit we got going on right now. So the PG's out the window. Sorry, I'll put the disclaimer on it from the beginning. So you don't have any young ones or, 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 or sensitive ears around. So I apologize, you know? But... I'm so done with this shit. So it's a continuation of, uh, if you've been watching my videos, it's a continuation of when I was younger, you know, that I always felt like, um, oh, I was the one, it was me who was out of line and not the fucked up one size fits all system, right? That's what this is. This is a one size fits all system. Oh, you know, we got to send our kids to public school and da-da-da-da-da. And, you know, 
what are we gonna do? I mean, we do we don't we can't really do anything. Um, go to the PTA meetings. Occupy those mofos. If they say you can't come in without a mask, say I'll sit at the back of the room, twenty feet from everybody. What's the fucking problem? Hit them with the facts. Do it nicely. Do it curtly. You know. If they say, sir, we really. So let me go back to the scenario. So like I said, you don't stare. You walk in. They're off to the right. You kind of look not completely this way, okay? Because then it looks like you're really trying to avoid them and they know what you're doing. But don't, hi, don't do that. Just kind of look in front of you to the opposite a little bit. So if they're over there, if they're over there, you look over here a little bit. So they're kind of in your peripheral, right? You're not totally writing them off, but you're not really like acknowledging them either because you know what the fuck they're gonna say. Hey, sir, would you like a mask? Oh, no, thanks. And you do a glance. So you, you send the eyes over like, I'm acknowledging you, but then you bring the eyes back. I'm dismissing you. And you're not cussing them out, and you say no thanks. You don't say it the nicest, but you don't say it the meanest either. I'm saying what's worked for me, okay? And then once you get past that stage, if you keep taking steps, and they say, sir, you really need to be wearing one for the safety of others, and da-da-da, you can, you can turn and say... Uh, I have a medical condition that pre prevent, and you say it as calmly, because if you have quiver in your voice, they're gonna know you're full of shit, or they're gonna challenge you on it, or they're gonna say this per why is this person scared? You gotta say it like it ain't no big fucking deal, and it takes practice. You'll get good at it, I promise. I don't care if, they, if it's considered a fucking white lie or not. Sometimes I don't, I don't fucking care. You know what my mental health condition is? I think for myself. What a concept right? So by law, they cannot ask you what your medical condition is. So if you say, which a lot of these companies goes back to what I was saying earlier, you need to know what the rules are on their pyramid structure of this fascist corporation, because that's what all of these are, Fourth Reich fascist companies, okay? And they go from the top down, the board of directors, who's in the interest of protecting their fucking wealth at the top, Oh, they get the polls back from, from the people. Well, in the beginning, remember, they were kicking people out. Well, what was happening? Uh, they were getting threats of lawsuits. So the people at the top said, oh, shit, we're going to lose fucking money by doing this. You know what we need to do? We need to, like, strongly recommend them at the front, but we don't need to, like, harass people. We need to let them shop, and we don't need to turn anybody away, which is largely, to my understanding, the case at the majority of these um, nationwide places. Now, are there some like Circle K's, and I have heard of some places that just, it, it doesn't freaking matter uh, unless you got a cool store manager or somebody working hourly. That's what I mean. It, it's different, different times of day, different crew, different owner, different, you know, it's bullshit. The whole thing is bullshit. And if they wanted to really make a structure, show me the proof that all this works. You, you start with that, and then you create the system. You don't do this and say, here's the system, systems because everywhere is different and then not give the evidence to back up why those systems exist it doesn't make sense so quit going along with it you don't have to explain to these people like i am right now you don't have to say that just finish what i'm saying okay back to the scenario which we'll walk it from the beginning he's off the person he or she is off here hey sir would you like a mask Oh, oh, no, thanks. And you keep walking. Oh, sir, we really need you to put on a mask. That's when you, like, turn and make the eye contact. Don't stare them down, but you make, you look at them in the face. Probably this much, because they're, they're wearing their shit, right? And you say, I have a medical condition that prevents me from wearing a mask, uh, but I will stay six feet away. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I don't get close to anybody. And, uh, and that's it. That's it. And honestly, you could say it as you're like, maybe slow your pace down a little bit and say it as you're still walking in the store. Walk in like you own the motherfucker. Seriously, let the, let, let those things drag to the floor and bounce around from side to side a little bit and walk around like you own the place. Because as far as I'm concerned, you do. And the, the place I'm talking about on my company card alone, the amount of money that's been spent this year at this place, and it's, you know, one of the premier uh, partner whatevers, you know, 
That's like their number one customer. That's who keeps the lights on, right? Is those. It's a small percentage of the of their total sales as far as um, entities and people. But as far as the percentage of revenue, it's, you know? So I'd love for somebody to I, I bring your manager out. Don't get to where you're managing and do it nicely, you know? But hit them with the facts, man. Come prepared. Say and if they challenge you on the medical thing, you say you know by law legally you can't ask, you can't ask, you're not allowed to ask me that question, right? Like I could hold you I could I could uh we could have a legal lawsuit there. Now, if you don't really have a medical condition to back up what you're saying, then obviously you're not going to but it's kind of like bluffing in poker, right? You make the point because you're about to leave to go back to your car, but you make the point so that maybe the next patriot that goes in there that doesn't acquiesce to the bullshit will go in there and the person might think twice about it because they're like, oh, I better not ask that question. They might be a dick and still kick you out or say, we can't serve you. How many times I've been to a restaurant and they say, well, we can't serve you. And I said, there's a table over there with nobody else around it. I can walk from here to the 10 feet over there and sit down without coming in contact with anybody and you're going to refuse me service. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I could have taken the time to go up the command, but my point is, is that if enough fucking people have this mindset, we wouldn't be in this shit show. I'm getting sick and tired of the lukewarm people. The people that say they want things to change and they want things to get better and they want a better life uh, for the family, but they don't fight for it. They don't talk about it. They don't bring it up. This is literally the fight of our lives, you know, where we don't have rifles and we're not killing each other in the streets. We're literally right before that. We're right before that and all of these acquiescers, all these people that won't go about their lives and live their lives according to how they dictate it. Because that's the way it was in this country. As long as you're not hurting anybody, stealing from anybody, whatever. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. How many of those three do you have? Because they're stealing your life. They're taking away your liberty. And you know what that last one is? Your freedom. So, you know, stick it back up. Stick them back up. Draw the line. Say, I'm done. You know, you know, when your kid is annoying you and annoying you, annoying you and, and you, and you go to the nth degree and then finally you, enough is enough. And your child is like, well, what did I do? No, 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 no. Well, you know, don't let it build up to that point. Just, just lay it down on everybody. Enough. I, I'm, I'm getting to that warrior mindset where I, I'm getting desensitized to the shit. Like, I don't care. Like, I was raised, I was raised to say, yes, sir. Well, not really, yes, sir, no, ma'am, because my, my, my mom's side of the family, my mom raised me. Um, my dad wasn't a part of my life, but my mom's side of the family's from up north. They're from Minnesota, okay? And if my grandparents... I'm glad my papa died when he did because if he would have been around and, and saw what happened to uh, St. Paul, he would have he probably... I'm glad he didn't get to see that. I'm glad he was on the other side when he saw it. Um, but, uh, you know, I was always raised to hold doors for people, to say yes, yes, please, and no thank you. I, I didn't get the sir thing because that was more of a, so a southern thing. I say it now. Um... But it was never, you know, as long as you were respectful and polite, that's all that mattered. That's all that mattered, man. And um, and and I think that's that's gonna have to go away for a little while. Um, you know, I'm not like I said. Oh no, thank you. You still say no, thank you. But so many people just cave after the first first sign. Of a roadblock or a speed. Hell, that's not even a fucking roadblock. That's like a little pebble in your... Like, oh, kick the rock out of the way. And some people act like it's like climbing Everest, man. And I just want to say... Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid of how people are going to view you. Because I stopped being afraid of that a long time ago. Now... People probably think I'm off my, my rocker and I'm over the deep end. 
That's fine. Because I know what the end of this is. It's the redemption. It's going to boomerang back. and Oh, shit. Right? So, not so much worried about the time frame on when this happens. But I know it's going to take longer it, it, until more, you know. Right now, there's not enough people that are saying, fuck this, enough. Not enough people. You know, and doing the shit on the 6th is trying to push it down to where, you know, we don't even, if we want to even think about doing that, they're going to say, oh, you know, we're so-and-so and so-and-so, -and, -so, and we're this faction, or we're, we're this title, right? I see that. But I'm not saying you got to go to the Capitol building. I'm not saying you got to do that. Do that at your grocery store. Do it at your, your school. If you don't like the way your school's going, organize like-minded parents and go down there. You don't get, you know, anywhere with the teacher and say, look, my kid's not wearing a mask. You don't get anywhere with the teacher. You go to their bus. You go to their bus. And you go to their bus. And you go to their bus. And you bump it up. You know, hell, get some of these uh, alt media 